Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Sasha Reed, and today I've got some design team project shares to share with you. Now, Craftstash sent me um, some dies and I was on a bit of a time pressure, so I did a whole bunch of creations, but I wasn't able to film any of it. I just didn't have the time to film it and edit and think about filming while I was creating. I just needed to quickly create some um, samples and get them sent off to Craftstash. So I thought before I put them in the post and sent them away that I would share with you what I made and kind of give a little description about how I made them. And then I have a little opportunity for you guys to determine what I should be um, filming in my next video. So to get started, I wanted to share with you these dies. These are all um, by this brand. I've never heard of them before. I've never seen them. They're called Pretty Quick. Um, and they are a whole, there's a set of six dies, um, bobble dies, and each die comes with a little banner. So these are really great. Um, I'm really impressed with them. They're a really decent size, as you can see here, they're all here, there's six of them, and they are gorgeous. Now, often with dies like this, when I run them through my machine, I struggle to get a nice clean impression. I normally have to do it two or three times to get a detailed cut. These are excellent quality dies. Really, really impressed. They just went through once. Once and they cut beautifully. So I've got a few of them cut out here. So there's the bird. The embossing doesn't show up as great, but I'm pretty sure if you put an embossing mat in there when you're cutting, you'll get that impression a lot better. As you can see, there's the detail on the bird, um, and that detail there should slightly impress into your paper, just slightly. Um, and you can feel it, but you can't really see it on the bird. However, the embossed bits like its feathers on its head have definitely shown up. So you get these gorgeous die cuts that um, die cuts so quick and easy. So I was really, really impressed with these. I would definitely be using them for Christmas and having some fun and doing some little tags probably with them um, for family and friends. So that's this one up here. Um, I didn't die cut them all to share with you, but I have got samples with all of them to share. This is my favorite one. It's got the poinsettia in the middle of the die. It is so cool. Now what you can do is, if you've got a set of circle dies, I've got this Infinity, Hero Arts Infinity set, I'll link them all down below. You can actually find a die that will roughly fit and you can make a tag. So this is one here that I made using the pine cone one, and that's this one here. And I just backed it with an Infinity die and did the circle and then put it on the back so I could actually make a proper tag and I can write to and from on the back there. Um, and that's kind of what I did with that one. I just layered it up and I did a bit of paper piecing to put my pine cone and it's like top bits on there and then I paper pieced my um, banner as well. So I did that and paper pieced that so I've got some of the gold and the black and I heat embossed using Alina's heating um, and embossing powder. Um, so. I absolutely love these dies. I had so much fun with them. I would definitely be making more because as I said, they die cut really easy and really smooth. I'll link them all down below if you want to check them out. Um, but they are stunning. And again, this one is just my favorite one of all time. So let me show you my makes with you um, that I made with these dies. The other thing I wanted to share with you is there's also a stamp set that goes with the dies. So all these greetings and stamps all fit inside the banners. So there's a banner with each of the dies and these all fit inside there um, and you can curve the stamps to match the dies. So there's this lovely little stamp set and it's also got like a little stocking and a bird, um, really cute little poinsettia, like there's just loads of fun cute tiny stamps in there as well. And this is a silicone stamp. So again I'll just share with you the packaging really quick. Um, and it gives you the dimensions on the front, which is really nice. But you get a little box for each one, which will help store them. Um, and they're just gorgeous, and they all kind of coordinate nice. They're, they are all the exact same size, so you can interchange them. If you die cut them out of paper, you can interchange them, and they will all fit within each other. So my first project is this card. Um, I took some cardstock and I layered it up with a bit of gold and then some pattern paper. Pattern paper is from the Jolly Holiday set, which I got from Every Crafts a Pound. 
And all I did was layered up the bird three times with black cardstock. It's hard to tell, but I did it three times with black cardstock and then once with the gold foil cardstock. And then I stamped it in gold embossing powder. So I've got these embossing powders here from Alina Cuddle and they're an ultra fine embossing powder. So they work really well for small words. I'll link these down below as well. Um, and then I just popped it up with a little bit of foam under each of those corners just because this is so raised on my card. And then I added some tool on the top um, to finish it off. My next card is this one here and I die cut it out of my paper. This paper came from Twilight Wishes, which is by Dovecraft or Dovecraft. Um, I never know how to say that one. And I got this on Every Crafts a Pound as well. So I die cut the bobble out of the paper. Then I backed the bobble with one of my infinity dies, like I did on this one here, um, with my light blue glitter card. I stacked it three times in the pearlescent blue, and then I backed my whole sheet with the same pearlescent blue to kind of tie them in together. And I popped up my sentiment on some foam, and then I used my Tim Holtz mixed media glue to glue on a tool bow at the top. So that's how I did that one. Then we're gonna get into some shaker cards because I don't know how to make cards without making them into shakers. I love it. So for this one, I had a bit more fun. I die cut out an edge using my infinity dies. So I used the two biggest ones, which I've, <laughs> I've got two missing from the set at the moment because I've been playing with them. Um, so I used the two biggest ones and created a very small border. So that's just stuck on top. Then I cut the same size circle as the biggest one out of my teal pearlescent card. And then I stuck on my edge on top of that. Then I die cut out my holly um, tag and I die cut it into the blue one. So I've placed my die inside of that one um, using gold foil. And I then ran some foam tape around the back behind it and filled inside the foam tape with some sequins. If you can hear that. So I've got white and iridescent clear sequins in behind there. And I've got my Merry Christmas, which is stamped and embossed in the white embossing powder. And then I use some Nuvo drops to fill in the center of my holly and then just added a few on the edges. And then again, that's all popped up on foam tape and my shaker bits are all held inside. And last but not least, the most blinding one with my <laughs> crazy light is my favorite one, the poinsettia one. So this one, again, I die cut into my cardstock um, my pattern paper, I should say. And I only put adhesive on the um, flat bits. I left the poinsettia leaves to kind of pop up. Now I did use Nuvo drops to do the insides of the little dots. However, they kind of ran and I kind of have a little bit of a blob. Um, and I did the same as the last time. I ran my foam tape around the outside and I added my shaker bits inside and I just used my iridescent clear sequins from Lena shop on um, AliExpress and again I backed it with some more gold foil card and I popped it up on some foam so that you can have that shaker element around floating around in the background um, and then I took my twine which is this ball here I picked this up from AliExpress um, it was quite cheap you get a huge amount of it and I just tripled it up and tied a little bow and again I used my mixed media glue and glued that little bow on um, and then I used my little uh, reverse tweezers and I just pinched it on I left it overnight and that secured it on there for me and it's not going anywhere it's a very strong glue um, so I love this one and how it turned out I think this is my favorite card ever even though I got a little oopsie in the middle it is definitely one of my favorite ones that I made now I previously mentioned that I'm over on craft world which is a website run by craft stash which is the company here in the UK that I design for um, it is like a Facebook group for crafters so you can go over you create a profile you can add friends you can follow experts you can um, see daily posts popping up you can watch tutorials you can post tutorials you can post makes that you make and it is not exclusive to craft stashes website 
so you do not need to be limited by anything that they sell. You can post anything you make from any shop that you've used to make it with. It is worldwide, so anyone can join. Um, and they also do a ton of giveaways all the time. So it's worth popping over there. I'm one of the experts on their page, which I always feel very funny saying. Um, so you can follow me over there. You can also friend request me over there. I'm still getting my head around the website, so I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Um, but I have got a couple exclusive videos on Craft World. And I did a tutorial for these two cards, which you can pop over there and check out. They will not be on my YouTube channel. I will be doing a video once a month for Craft World exclusively. So if you'd like to see more videos from me, then you can pop over there and click the follow button on my expert page. Um, and you can follow me and watch my videos over there. So these are two cards that I made um, using some ink blending um, and some shadow die cutting. So have a look on there if you'd like to watch that tutorial. It's very quick, it's only five minutes. Now, last but not least, I have this monster bundle and I am so excited by this. Now this is where I want your opinion and your thoughts. Um, this is the latest collection by Sam Calcott, I think is how you say your name, um, on Craft Stash. Um, so Craft Stash sent me this bundle to design with and I've already had a go and I will share my card with you in just a second. But they are amazing. So, you can buy everything, I think, individually. There are two stamp sets. There is this one, which I love the font. I love that it goes that direction. Really cool. Beautiful, gorgeous, big butterfly. Um, it's photopolymer, so it's really good quality stamps. Really, really, really excited about these two stamp sets alone. I opened up my pack and I was like, oh my word, I can't wait. Um, because I'm always looking for unique stamps that can kind of do a different direction on a card. And there are dies for all these things as well. There are dies to cut out the butterfly and the bow and the balloon. So it is really fun. So you got those two stamp sets. Then we get into the dies. So you have your base dies. There's a six by six. There's a five by seven which goes one direction, and a 5 by 7 landscape, which goes the other direction. Oh yeah, so I'll turn that around. So you've got these three, okay? These are your three main dies, and you can pick which ones you want. The 5 by 7 ones, these two ones here, you have to have an extended or larger die cutting machine. So you need something that will cut a 4. They are very wide dies. So as you can see, they're very wide. They're bigger than six inches, so you can't use a standard um, cutting platform. You will need a bigger one. The six by six, however, will fit in your big shot or standard cutting machine. It will fit just exactly the width of your machine. Now, along with these big ones, you can then get sort of the accessory packs. So for example, in the five by seven, you can then get the 5x7 panels and these can go in the middle or on the back of your cards. So for the 6x6 six six ones, I've opened them up, you get these amazing panels. So these you could just buy on their own and create some card fronts with these if you wanted. You got hearts, bows and butterflies in this set. So these could just be used for standard card making which is really fun. Then the 5x7 you get your flowers, stars, and balloons. So you get slightly different ones with the different sizes. Then you can also get edges. So you can get these edges to go on the sides of your card. Now, this is gonna be a bit of a mess to pull out, but you get butterflies, you get your bow, you get your hearts, and then you also get the edge to put them on. Now let me share with you my make so it all makes sense to you. So this is my first make that I made. So here's that edge that I was talking to you about and you get your butterflies that then go on top of it. And it is so cool because you can stand it up like that. Um, I think Sam did her demo using it that way as in that was the front of her card and she did it sort of the reverse way. I liked it being on the inside so I did it that way. You can do whatever you like. You can join them together. If you go and pop over to Craft Stash's um, YouTube channel, you can see different makes that Sam made with him. So the really cool thing with these sets is that you get multiples. One of my biggest pet peeves is when you get a die set and they give you one die 
to cut all of them out. You get six. So you can do all your butterflies for one side all in one go. And you get the same for the other ones as well, like the balloons, the hearts. You get all of them, which is really nice. Then you also get this bonus die so that if you wanted to do a different card, you can layer them and use that background layer for another card. And then you also get another one that's even bigger, which is in the box still. So that was one thing that I loved about it. You get this die here, which cuts all your little panels out for you. And again, it cuts multiples. So you can just run it through your big shot a couple times and you're ready to go. Now, I had so much fun with this card. I used my oxide inks to stamp the birthday and I did sort of a layered an ombre, sorry not layered, ombre effect using my blender brushes and I just kind of blended them together. Then I used my oxides and I just kind of covered some bits of cardstock and die cut out my butterflies out of that cardstock so that I could match. Um, and then I used some glitter card. I backed this panel with the glitter and did sort of some popped up and some flat. Um, so I just had loads of fun and I plan to make loads more. The other thing is the set. You can also get um, embossing folders. So you can get a 6x6 embossing folder and a 5x7 embossing folder. There are also letters. So you get this die set with all these letters in it. So you could do some really cool eclipse cards um, and it comes with all the numbers as well. So a really fantastic set to get. So you will see me doing some makes with this. So what I would love to know from you in the comment section down below is would you like me to show you a tutorial using the hearts or the butterflies or the bow? So let me know down in, in the comment section what you'd love to see and I will do a tutorial for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the makes that I've made and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Bye for now. Bye.